started her a cooking channel, and this is for that. Cooking channel. <laughs> cooking channel. Why not? Ah! 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 That, you guys, is what you call fresh yellow tail head. Now, we are on to prep work. So my mom has already gone ahead and sliced up the meat so it can evenly be distributed throughout the family. But also, so it cooks evenly throughout. Um, this is a very beautiful fish, great tasting red meat. waiting for ma Onions, some garlic cloves. It looks like about six garlic cloves. But we also have some baby shallots. Shallots will do. All right. So once you've peeled the onion, what you're gonna do is you're gonna begin to slice it and dice it. Uh, it doesn't have to be fine, it can just be minced or just sliced. What's that you're cutting now, Ma? What is that? What is that? Ginger. So ginger? Okay. And why do you do that? Why do you use the knife end to squish it down? So that the juice. So she squishes and smashes the ginger to extract some of the ginger juice. We only use half a ginger, so remember, it's up to you, depending on how much ginger you want to use and whether you like the flavors of ginger. I'm going to completely leave that up to you. Here we have a hefty amount of ginger. I would say half a onion, what I would say two shallots, and then six garlic cloves. All right, make sure you gather your trash in one pile so it can be easily disposed. We've actually added some boiling water to some of the gizzards and the insides. Gizzard. Um, Gizzard data. Well, what is it then, mom? So it's a correction. My mom said it's intestines. It's fish intestine. Liver. A bunch of other things. 
So you guys, we're using a wok uh, today to prepare the, the soup. Uh, you don't necessarily so, have to use so, a... I Mom! So... What is it? Adobo! Nate. I'm recording! Everything is recording! Alright you guys, so we're, we're going to start by going ahead and uh, throwing on the garlic first. You want to cook that until it's nice and brown. Get all the aromas out of it. Next, we have the onions and shallots. And you just want to continually mix the ingredients. Mmm, it smells wonderful, you guys. If you guys were here, I think you'd have a smile on your face because it smells amazing. Nothing beats the smell of fried onions. And next we have ginger. So the ginger is the last one. And you want to make sure that you, you do this in this order to get Filipino cooking mommy recipes. Because if, if you don't do it in order, then it's not legit. Uh, it's been about two, three minutes now. So you guys, this is where you combine uh, the Dorado uh, inside the wok with all the other pre-vegetables that you cut up. Check it out, it looks amazing. Oh my God. Our burner is not burning right, but we still make do. Now we're adding a couple spices here. Uh, what are we adding here, Ma? Pimenta. Pimenta is, what's pimenta? What's pimenta? Oh, black pepper. Pimenta is black pepper. We're also adding some uh, peppercorns in there. A little bit of salt. Now, can you go ahead and mix that for me, Ma? What are you adding now? Vinegar. How much vinegar? How much? Well, my mom never measures anything, and it's a Filipino thing. So, if I had to guess, that looked like maybe tablespoons of vinegar, and we're also adding some soy sauce. Now we're adding soy sauce, you guys. Soy sauce is definitely one of the key ingredients in making adobo. So, the traditional way of making adobo is using poultry, uh, pork and beef here is one of the best alternatives to cooking fish and it is the Filipino adobo way. We're definitely going to do a video on us eating it because it looks delicious you guys. Very very delicious. Alright. Alright so it's, it's been boiling for about three minutes now. And you just want to make sure that it's on a high boil. You want to make sure that the temperature is high enough to, to get it to boil. Get all the flavors to mix in that pot and walk really well. Mm -hmm. So go in for a little bit there. Alright, so here. Now the final thing you want to do and the most important thing is leave it alone. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a lid on it. Give it about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we'll come back and check on it in a little bit. Alright, you guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, put it come. Give me more. I, I, I want to eat more. This is my plate, you guys. Check that out. The rice is a must with adobo. See, it's steaming.
What's that? What's that? Suka is a traditional dipping sauce. It's vinegar. What the hell? What? 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 You guys watch the technique. Watch the technique in properly scooping the rice. This is what we call kamayan. Um, a lot of shops is actually picking up the niche. It's a traditional way of eating food or fast food. So, it was developed by farmers in the field. It was gathering rice. Uh, can never, they can't always take utensils with them, so they'd package it in the Tupperwares and eat out of the Tupperwares using their bare hands. If they don't have Tupperwares, they, they, they use alternative methods like banana leaves, banana wraps, whatever it may be, any, you know, something that's clean and whatnot. Ooh, focus back on that. Oh my God, look at that. So it looks, I mean, just on the look itself, it looks like normal pork adobo. Uh, it's a good alternative to pork. See, so see the vinegar. Did you guys see the technique with the vinegar? This is my mom's. Mm, check that out. My mom's praying. She's praying. Mom, what is this called? Any gunk? Durobun. Durado. No, what is the way you cook it? Adobo. Adobo and Durado. Mm. 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 Kita Mm. 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 Mom, can you put your hand down? Can't see the food. Switch hand. Yeah, there you go. Like this. Yeah, that looks nice. Oh, yeah, my some of this no you don't want any of that people might think that looks like your brothers and sisters in there look at that I mean it's not visually pleasing like I said but man is it filled and packed with a lot of different flavors juices the best part is getting in between the crevices of the bone the meat the cartilage oh my gosh you guys it is just simply amazing like caramelized on itself. <laughs> 